guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. What has two thumbs and is dumb enough to live in his vehicle full time? This guy. <laughs> Good morning, people. A little bit overcast this morning. We just had a literal sprinkle of rain. If you haven't been to Texas before, I can just give you the forecast. It's going to be really hot and along the coast here, really humid. We're in Rockport, Texas, about 25 miles north of Corpus Christi. It's a uh, town right on Aransas Bay, the Redneck Riviera. It's a drinking town with a fishing problem. guys didn't like that one, huh? I said it's a fishing town with a drinking problem. There you go. Now the goat's all fired up. We're at the uh, northern tip of Live Tip, tip of Live Oak Peninsula. <clears throat> We're going across the LBJ Causeway. Copano Bay is now on our left and Aransas Bay is on our right going to head over to the Goose Island State Park area. Still technically Rockport. Copano history has a Copano Bay has an awesome history. Uh, Civil War battles and towns that are no longer there and uh, pirates and buried treasure. Uh, if you get a chance in Rockport well I'm going 55 and you're driving like a nut. <laughs> He's in a big hurry. I, I swear I'm hearing like a ship's foghorn. I think it's the, the diesel up there. The uh, Texas Maritime Museum right at uh, Rockport Beach by the harbor. That's completely free now. And um, I'm not sure if it'll keep your kids entertained. But for adults, it's awesome. If, if you wanted to do like a 30 minute one to one hour walk through, uh, you could probably keep your kids entertained on a rainy day. There's also the uh, Bay Education Center is right there as well and that is also free. And just ignore the fact that it has the word education in it. It's a really cool little building and it has some awesome displays and uh, that's also free. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat little town, Rockport. And it's twin sister Fulton. Lots of bars, lots of restaurants, lots of liquor stores, lots of churches, lots of places to buy fishing gear. Did you want to get over in front of me, sir? Is that what that, uh, is that what, what that was all about? <laughs> I seem to be the only one today who's able to use my blinker fluid. My turn signals are working fine, but everyone else seems to be having a little bit of trouble today. Make sure you cut in front of me and then tailgate the car in front of you. That always moves the traffic along nicely. We're going to turn here. Hear that little clicking noise? Turn signal. Turn signal. Let's get the dad joke out of the way. I forgot to uh, say one yesterday. Why did the blind man fall down the well? Why did the blind man fall down the well? He uh, he just couldn't see that well. There we go. Insulted the handicapped people and got a dad joke. Bonus. It's going to be a good day, kids. I have been sleeping at night. My friend Pat has a lot in Fulton. And that uh, lot has hookups for RV, water, and electric. And he has let me park there whenever it's not rented out. So thank you again, Pat. The last few mornings, I've had uh, roommates. There's a uh, fawn that comes in every morning or uh, right in the evening. And she lays down with two young uh, uh, 
uh, well, two young fawns, I'm sorry. It's a mother deer and two baby deer. Let me make it easier on myself. And um, every morning when I uh, go to wake up, I kind of open my door and that startles them. And the mother, it's pretty neat how nature works. The mother takes off and I think that's to get my attention. And then she kind of realizes that, okay, that's just that guy. He doesn't mean us any harm. And then she waits there and then the babies join her. But when there's trouble, the babies just hunker down, don't move, don't do anything. That's their defense. And the mom kind of takes off to draw away any predators or anything like that. Or in my case, uh, idiots who live in their truck. But um, I've been staying at Pat's off, off and on for maybe a, about a month. And uh, yeah, it's, I was waking up to uh, hummingbirds and uh, he's got these beautiful plants, flowers. And uh, it's, an, it's just an empty lot with hookups. So if you're interested in renting that, the link is in the description. Uh, Pat has a YouTube channel, Pat's Channels, uh, Pat's Travels, excuse me. I'm watching out for deer and trying to think at the same time, which is a bad combination. It's nice to be in a little wooded area after spending a few days at the beach. But uh, right under that, Pat's Travels is for Pat's uh, RV lot. There's a link and uh, that'll give you all the information you need and contact information for Pat, uh, pricing, and all the amenities. It's in a great spot in Fulton. If uh, you wanted to just walk to a restaurant or walk down to the bars in Fulton, it's, it's right there. And it's quiet at night, it's really quiet. So if we make a right here, it'll take us into Goose Island State Park proper. Let's go straight today. When the video is done, I'm going to go into Goose Island State Park to, uh, to take a shower. That's where I go and shower at. And in the Texas heat, when you sleep in your truck, you need a shower in the morning. Someone had asked me about um, Crystal Beach, which is about 175 miles away, if, they, if I knew where they could get water. And my advice to them, my suggestion to them, and I've made this suggestion to people here, uh, we have Goose Island State Park here. We have Mustang Island State Park out on, oddly enough, Mustang Island. And if you're an RV, uh, pay, pay a day pass to go to the state park. Empty your tanks, fill up with clean water, take a hot shower, enjoy the park for the day get your you know five six seven dollars worth and uh it, it's a good spot i have a texas parks pass so i i go into the state parks and 99 percent of the time the showers are real clean but i uh get my washing water i have a six gallon jug that i fill up when I go to um, Goose Island State Park or whichever state park I happen to be in that day. Mustang Island State Park doesn't do a whole lot for me. Uh, I think it's awesome that they have the beach camping, but you can do it much cheaper in uh, Port Aransas, to be honest. And I love Texas State Parks. We're on Lamar Beach Road. And since it got warm, the alligators aren't usually uh, out at the pond sunning themselves. If anything, they're trying to keep cooler this time of year. But I always look for them. See that big house up on the left there? There's a pond there that has gators in it. Going right by the boat ramp here, free boat ramp here at Lamar Beach. Free is always good. And uh, 
Goose Island State Park has a uh, boat ramp, but you have to pay to get in the park, but the boat ramp is free. Kind of looking at the gator pond, and no, there's no gators out. I didn't think there would be. How rude. They kind of got spoiled in the winter. Any type of sunshine, they would be out on the banks um, sunning themselves. I didn't see a whole lot of damage over here from Tropical Storm Alberto or Hurricane Beryl compared to what we got in Rockport on Fulton Beach Road. But this just seems like it's just a couple of feet higher and uh, that makes a big difference. I, I wanted to thank um, Donato, D-O-N-A-T-O sent me a gift through Vidmo a few days ago. So Donato, thank you very much. That was uh, really kind to you. And Donato had asked me about like where the good fishing spots were. And I, I just don't know, I'm not, a, I'm not a fisherman. And most of the fishermen I know aren't giving up their, uh, <laughs> their spots. remember this fence on the left here and these poles on the right they look like they're new I wonder what the is that to keep people from parking or uh, something going on let's see nothing behind us where's the where's the cows at today uh, they're kind of out in the middle uh, let's go all the way around we'll swing by the big tree hey no birds today huh no, uh, we usually see turkey vultures and black vultures over here. It's not the time of year, but this is a field where we spot the uh, whooping cranes. Whoop, whoop. And uh, we see some blue heron over here. Those, those, those I've seen as a seagull sitting back on the pole there. What are these guys doing? Fishing? Oh, they're walking really big dogs. <laughs> it's like, what is that? God bless these people that travel with uh, big dogs. I got a message from my friend Sharon the other day, and uh, her her uh, dog, uh, Rena. Rena, I'm sorry. I'm going to get that right one day. Rena uh, injured her foot. One dog in a baby carriage. We got it. So, Raina, you're a good girl, and I hope you're healing up well. Got a message from Greg yesterday. Greg's in the hospital. He said he's just trying to get his strength back. So, that's good. I had another friend that uh, about two weeks ago had super uh, blood pressure. Uh, just a little bit older than me, maybe. 63 or 64 and uh, lost weight and got in good shape um, got hit with really low blood pressure that made him pass out and he landed right on his face like he couldn't have hit harder so he was in the hospital for a while and going through different resets and surgeries and things like that and it's uh it's hard when you see your friends aren't aren't doing well i mean i can only hack like eight people and greg and my other buddy that just literally fell on his face or uh, two of them What's this saying? I only like eight people and 32 dogs. <laughs> they got reflectors up on the canopy here. I'm sure they've been there. I just never noticed them before. There's some deer on the left. Well, they took off. There's a fence between us too. They must have had some bad human experiences. 
I looked up what national days there is today, guys, and it was like the lamest days. Hey, it's Tropical Fruit Day. Better call out sick for work if you're watching this early. I won't be in today. It's Tropical Fruit Day. It's also Sour Candy Day. Huh? I'm surprised that's not on your calendar. Sour Candy Day. <laughs> No, thank you. And uh, what else was it? There was just a bunch of days listened today. And uh, none of them really, uh, really grabbed my attention. I also noticed that um, July 18th is my sister's birthday. And it's also my friend uh, Lori's birthday. And uh, one of them is the 17th and one of them is the 18th. And I swear I can't remember the difference. I can't remember who's who. Uh, so I usually just uh, say it early to both of them just to cover myself. There's more reflectors. I believe those are new. It's a good idea. Or they could have been there 10 years and I just never noticed. But I checked to see who was born on uh, July 18th. See if anyone famous was born. And there were lots of famous people born. And uh, all the ones that were famous to me were dead already. And I'm like, wow, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I see pictures of my friends on Facebook that I still haven't, uh, that I still keep in contact with, but I haven't seen them in a while. And I'm like, damn, buddy got old. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I guess I haven't looked in the mirror. What is that, a squirrel? Squirrel, red squirrel, kids. Get your cameras out. Yeah, it's a red squirrel. I don't know why they're red squirrels. They're kind of a, kind of like the gray squirrel, squirrels that we have in uh, Pennsylvania. Except these, these have like a rusty tinge to them. And they're called red squirrels. They, uh, they do eat the same nuts, though. up-and-coming um, social media stars. Thanks for riding along today, guys. I'm going to go wash my butt. Thanks for watching.